welcome to Taurus and Guide, your pathway to tourism. Today we're on a trip to the land of virtue, Oshun State precisely, to attend the Osho Shogbo traditional festival which brings people from all walks of life and from all parts of the world. Let's talk about it. America, Trinidad, Tobago, Cuba and so much more. And it has been five long hours coming in from Lagos. adherents and non-adherents of Oshun, one of the Orisha, the traditional deities of the Yoruba people, travel from all over the world to attend the annual Osho Shogo festival in August. Visitors include nationals of Brazil, Cuba, Trinidad, Grenada and other nations in the Americas with a significant Yoruba cultural heritage. Annual traditional festivities and evocations of the Oshun goddess are held along the banks of the river bearing her name to which, according to Yoruba oratory traditions, she transformed. The Oshun Oshogo Grove, the shrine of the annual rites of the deity and an important artistic center, was declared a World Heritage Site in 2005. Today we are at the final day of celebration and festivities at the Osho Oshoko Festival in which the Osho people I practically believe that the Osho Goddess can heal and of course bless them. <laughs> accepted history of Oshogo in the southwestern part of Nigeria can be traced down in line to a very long time ago. As history has it, it all started with the journey of a famous hunter searching to end famine in his country. In his quest, he found the stream and traced his source to River Oshun, part of present-day Oshogo. The hunter made his way back to town and informed the king of his findings. The king and his subjects later moved to settle at the flood pin and built his first palace. Over time, the king and his subjects engaged themselves in farming activities in their newfound land. 
One day, while clearing the bush for cultivation, they incidentally fell a tree, damaging the indigenous industry of the spirit world and a voice was heard from the river calling out to them as other voices from the spirit world joined in. Later, the king got to know the name of the spirit queen as Osho Igbo, widely believed to be the goddess of River Osho. Today, Osho goddess is still regarded as the spiritual mother of the king and all who succeed him. History also has it that his subjects moved to the upper terrace in the plain, the present day Osho Grove. The history and traditional rites shares a great deal of significance to the inhabitants of Osho. Osho is a festival where they celebrate every year, as a way that people come around all over the world to celebrate every year. And they come around, some people come around in asking for the goddess to do something for them. So people come around to fetch water, they believe the water is a healing water. For those who are all as no are sick, when they use the water they feel fine. For those who are barren, if they use the water, they conceive. So as in yearly people come around, for those as in the, for those people that the ocean have given something to, they come around yearly to pay their vows because before they taking the water, they do vow to the goddess. So after taking the water they come yearly to celebrate the goddess. The festival serves as a way of cleansing the town for a new year. It's spiritual. The significance is spiritual to the adherents and to the, to the people, all of us that come around it, both government and people in the private sector that make money around it. That is all secondary. Because whether or not government plays a role, whether or not UNESCO plays a role, whether or not the federal government shows any interest, the Osho Shobo Festival predates Nigeria and might survive beyond Nigeria. So it has a major spiritual significance. It is a covenant with the people of the Shobo and the grand finale of the annual Osho Oshogo Festival was celebrated low-key following the announcement by the state government that foreigners should be restricted from attending this year's Osho Shogo Festival to avoid Ebola virus outbreak in the state as it is the belief of sick people and the barren that the Osho River Goddess heals and gives children. Some people carry containers to fetch the water home to their loved ones in need of healing. <laughs> Against the Ebola outbreak warning, all traditional rites associated with the festival were carried out in accordance with the traditional culture of Ushubu land. 
a cross-section of medical experts providing drugs, vaccines for tourists and security operatives, numbering over 100 wore gloves to prevent body contact, were present at the grove. Because of the uh, uh, Ebola uh, uh, scourge uh, epidemic, that we should approach this festival with some caution. Um, as you know, uh, some of the fastest ways in which uh, Ebola, you know, gets uh, uh, transmitted is through uh, uh, body contact, and then we have uh, a lot of people coming to Oshun Shobo. You see today, I mean, it's kind of like severely toned down, you know, compared to what we had last year. Uh, so we do not want a situation where uh, we're using, we're trying to, we're observing the festival and then we're encouraging people from outside of the country and uh, because we really, in the country, we're building readiness to be able to contain this and so I, uh, the wisdom of uh, government is that uh, let's approach this with some caution, let's uh, you know, encourage uh, people to come like the way they did last year. And of course, there's also this other twist to it. The Oshun Grove and the river is uh, in the minds of people. I mean, the adherents, uh, uh, people believe it has healing powers. It's so all the likelihood that some people might want to come, you know, to receive those healing, receive the healing, you know, by visiting uh, the, the Oshun River. And that will really be. Uh, Perhaps uh, you know the fastest way to actually transmit this. So this it's it's, it's some caution that I think is uh, very well called for at this point. A yearly rite is performed by the traditionalists. Each year, a virgin of royal lineage carries a sacrifice to be offered to the goddess and after which is performed, she retires to the shrine. So, a long festival in Oshun State is used to showcase the people's heritage and the channel for cultural exchange to the world. Some of these talents include the Ejiogbe twins who started craft with stones at the age of five. Uh, now, so tell it to you, we come my beer with Bridge Call, to our friend Lamiji, my Jay. Depot Kai Jay do, to read Bridge, no Abuale, a baby born after twins, no one stick out Jay do, at my Jay Bridge. So make it like a couple. I know London in 1979, and my daddy. Lay here, I want to see America, the Philadelphia, I was a special, I didn't New York, I know New Orleans, I didn't Washington, Kaki, I want to see Japan. I lost his vision in Japan, I lost Jumba, I lost Loki, Dogo Yaro, Dogo Yaro, the ambassador of Wani, in Japan, in Japan, in Japan. So, but I told you, 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 I told
ni agbalaye ku si bi ta ti ko awon okuta ide te ba di afin obo yo ise wa wa nbe ka kiri ka kiri awon oyin bo won ma wa te ma nra won ma wa ni sa ma nra won kekeke a de to fun won ni we pe awa la ja awa la gbe awa la de ta fun won ko ti e se jiko tori ko pe meji Oshoshubo Festival is one of the special events which is listed in the tourism calendar in Nigeria, marketing to domestic and a rallying point for domestic and international tourists. So here we are finally at the very popular Osho River and it's been an amazing day, great performances and festival. My name is Aramide Omotinde. Thank you for watching.